Important information for families who have children in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. Today, district leaders will begin interviewing for the next superintendent. Yeah, the decision obviously an important one, and it's going to impact many other decisions that come in the months ahead. Our education reporter Mary Calkins has been following every step of this process. What have you learned, Mary? So, Alex, Mary, this is the first round of finalists, and we know there are six, but the district is keeping their names a secret. So today is the first of six different Zoom meetings, and uh, the board will convene in public, but they will quickly go into executive session. The interviews, of course, will be done in private, as required by North Carolina law. Now, to get here, the district hired a search firm, conducted more than two dozen engagement sessions and surveys to learn what people want to see in the district's next leader. The list was long and included someone who is experienced, transparent, and politically savvy, among many others. With six superintendents since 2012, parents, teachers, and board members are ready for someone with some staying power. The students really want someone who will listen to them, who will uh, go to schools, be, be present, and uh, just engage with the students. Uh, like They, they want to feel um, listened. So I feel like that that's a very important part of the uh, of what the students would like to see. Now, after these virtual interviews, the finalists will visit Charlotte for in-person interviews. Those are happening on May 1st. And then the district, excuse me, the, the full board is expected to approve the district's next superintendent on May 9th. And we will continue following this all the way through. But for now, reporting live in Uptown Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.